What's up, Greg, and welcome back to another episode of POV, which stands for Pigs on Video. Now, I'm sure a lot of you by now are aware of the POV trend on TikTok, where someone on TikTok will act out a scene and you as the audience are a character in that scene. Some of you may also be aware of the extremely creepy niche within that trend of like daddy POVs. I was originally gonna make a video about those, but then I started to realize that they're too creepy to make fun of and it wouldn't even be funny, it would just be weird. And also by the time I went to go look for them, most of them have been deleted, I guess because the people who made them realized, uh, hey, that's pretty gross. We should probably stop. But I found this dude named Garrett on TikTok. His username is Go Goverbo. And he had previously made a lot of these daddy TikToks, but he has since deleted them. And I thought it would be kind of interesting to go through his other TikToks that aren't the daddy ones, since he's deleted pretty much all of those. I wanted to see what kind of other TikToks he makes. And it turns out they're pretty much all POVs, and they are all very odd. For those of you who don't know what POVs are, I'll give you a simple one first. This one's called POV, which stands for point of view. You're staying the night at your friend's house when her brother accidentally walks in on you. <laughs> Pretty much everyone's fantasy, I think we can agree. You're staying at a friend's house, there's a knock on the door and their brother comes in and he like eyes you up and down. I think deep down we'd all like our friend's brothers to undress us with their eyes. Just sounds kind of fun. But I would say that them being that innocent is pretty rare with old Goverbo. For example, this one is called your boyfriend snuck into your house after you ignored him all day. A pretty reasonable response, honestly. Let's check it out. To me, this seems like something that this dude was like, oh, this this would be so hot. Like, a chick would love a dude who is, like, confident enough to just break into his girlfriend's house. But any girl, or, like, anyone who's ever had to deal with, like, a stalker situation would just be horrified about. Like, this is not a fantasy. Mm, I want me a boyfriend who's not really so much of a boyfriend, but more of a stalker, because I don't really know him, and he keeps texting me. I don't even know how he got my number. But after a day of me not responding, if he he could like break into my house. That would be awesome. Preferably while I'm like taking a shower or some shit. Do you think that he would actually do this? If she's not responding to you all day, like you probably did something wrong, right? Like she's not just ignoring you for no reason or maybe she's busy. Maybe she just wants some space. But you're just like, nah, fuck that. I'm gonna break into her house. And when she finds me, I'm gonna say, pick up the phone, baby. So yeah, kind of like romanticizing a creepy stalker relationship, uh, not great. Definitely not good, but it gets worse. So let's let's check it out. POV, you ran away from your kidnapper, but his men found you. Yeah, that's how kidnapping works. Now you're stuck with me, because I kidnapped you. Really nice of him to spell that out for us. Thank you, Goverbo. I don't get how this is like an, an appealing situation for anyone. You could make the argument that like, sure, lots of people probably think he's cute, but that doesn't mean that you want to be kidnapped by him. Do you know why people get kidnapped? It's not for good reasons. It's not like this dude is like, sorry, I just wanted to kidnap you because I want to be your boyfriend. I want to treat you really nice and you're free to go whenever, okay? People get kidnapped for really dark, bad reasons. Like, it seems like the point of this is that you're scared that you got kidnapped, but then he takes off his mask and you're like, whoo, maybe this won't be so bad after all. But the darkness of this TikTok seems to be lost on most of his fans because they're all children, mostly like little girls, which honestly makes it way more gross. Romanticizing kidnapping for his like little girl audience. That's so fucked up. Wait, he even had us as the audience say, I didn't miss you. Like we're clearly not okay with being kidnapped. This isn't even like a fantasy where we're like, we kind of want to be kidnapped. Like it's some kind of kink or something. So we're not even cool with what's going on. We're just like, I want to go home. Hashtag POV, your serial killer boyfriend followed you home again. Oh, not again. He followed me home again? Ugh, when will this serial killer boyfriend learn? I'm sorry, but what the fuck is a serial killer boyfriend? He just kind of throws that into the caption like, we all know what that means, right? We've all had a serial killer boyfriend, or have been a serial killer boyfriend.
I like that he knocked at the beginning. He may be a serial killer boyfriend, but he has manners. He's not just gonna barge into your house. Unlike that other boyfriend that uh, will barge into your house. Pick up the phone. Okay, so like in this TikTok, we're like hiding from our serial killer boyfriend. Is he still our boyfriend? He's obviously done something that has made us want to hide, probably be a serial killer, but he's still our serial killer boyfriend. He's not our serial killer ex-boyfriend. I guess we haven't broken it off yet. We still kind of like can see the good in him, you know? He may have killed 30 people, but I'll be damned if I don't think I can change him. This comment says, when people have literally died because of stuff like this, and that has 24,000 likes. And honestly, I got to agree with him. It's not even like this. People have died from this. Serial killer boyfriends. Hashtag POV, your boyfriend tries to abuse you in front of the gang leader's son. even mean? I don't understand the premise of this TikTok. So my boyfriend is trying to hit me or something, but then we're saved and not by the gang leader, but the gang leader's son. First off, are we in a gang? Did we get, did our serial killer boyfriend initiate us into a gang without us knowing? I, this is the first I've heard of this. There have been no other TikToks so far about us being in a gang. So I just, you just have to accept right off the bat, you're in a gang. I really love that it's not the gang leader that's saving us. Like that would be almost like this, I could understand that being kind of like a hot, powerful position, you know, he's in charge, but instead it's the gang leader's son. I just picture like this 12 year old dweeby kid. Like, listen here, buster, you don't want to tussle with me. My daddy runs this gang and he's strong as hell. Mm, nothing hotter than a man with a powerful dad. POV, I have no real money or influence but my dad runs a gang. Hashtag POV, you threaten the new mafia boss's son. Okay, so I guess this is another one about the gang leader's son. Oh shit, what a badass, dude. He's got a dad. It's just so funny to act like a badass because you're, like your dad's in charge. It reminds me of in elementary school, there was a girl in my grade whose dad was the mayor of the town that I lived in. And sometimes she would get into fights with my friend and every time she would tell him, that her dad was gonna kick him out of town. As if like the mayor of our town would really exile a nine year old because he got in a fight with his daughter. Just imagine like a third grader packing up his bag sobbing cause he's like, I don't wanna leave but the mayor kicked me out. It's just such a weird concept to flex not even your power, but your imaginary dad's imaginary power on TikTok. I wanna see more people doing that. That's a, that's a cool concept. I wanna see more TikToks of people flexing their dad's power. Ha! <laughs> Stupid fucking dog. Excuse me, sir. You can't just come in here to scare the dogs. <laughs> Do you know who I am? Yeah, you're Jeff Bezos' son. You said that like 18 times. <laughs> My daddy owns Amazon. Yeah, and you've said that like 20 times. What does that have to do with being mean to the dog? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. You think that just because I haven't spoken to my father in five years doesn't mean I can't get old King Amazon on the phone right now and tell him to make your Alexa evil? I didn't think that until just now, but honestly, yeah, it sounds like he wouldn't pick up. <sighs> I feel sorry for you. My dad's the richest turtle in the world. He'll ruin your life. Turtle? I said man. I'm sure you meant man, but you said turtle. My dad doesn't look like a turtle. This one is one of my favorites. It's called hashtag POV. You tell your vampire dad about the boy who hits you at school. So get ready for vampire dad. Great! My dad killed my bully. That's what you want, right? My grown ass supernatural dad murdered a little boy at my school. Thanks, vampire dad. I like that the caption calls him vampire dad. Like he's some kind of superhero. Like, wow, there goes vampire dad to go kill that kid. Wait, if my dad is a vampire, doesn't that make me a vampire too? Is vampirism, is that genetic? Cause if so, I feel like I could have taken care of it myself. I don't even know how I have bullies in the first place. If I'm a vampire, I'm immortal. I can 
turn into a bat? Who's gonna bully someone that can turn into a bat? You don't want that smoke. You don't want that... You don't want that bat. You don't want that puff of smoke as I turn into a bat. So I really like the concept of this TikTok. I like Vampire Dad a lot. I feel like that provides a lot of good unexplored territory. We could do a lot with Vampire Dad. What I don't like about this TikTok is that this fucking dude doesn't even look like a vampire. He looks like a sexy vampire, like a Twilight vampire. He doesn't even have fangs. He's just some guy. Can you imagine how different this TikTok would be interpreted by like all of his little girl fans if it was like a classic looking vampire? Vampire dad. Oh, vampire dad. A kid went missing at our school today. Oh, no. Was it that boy who bullies you? Yeah. Wait, how'd you know that? Just a, just a lucky guess. Wait, is that him? Huh? Right there, that's my bully. Except he's got like a bite mark on his neck and he looks like a vampire. Oh, oh, yeah. I guess it is, what a coincidence. Dad. Did you try to murder my eight-year-old classmate? Uh-oh, looks like I looks like he caught me. Oh, vampire dad. <laughs> Whoops. Wait, so you turned him into a you turned him into a vampire. Doesn't that make him immortal? Oh fuck, you're right. Oh great, another vampire one. POV, it's your first time kissing a vampire. Oh gosh, I'm kind of I kind of excited. I didn't know that I would be kissing a vampire today. Um, uh, gosh, okay, well, um, here it goes. I wanna be a weekend lover. Yeah, I'ma be the best I'm Oh shit, I, did you bite me? I guess I did. I'm sorry. Where you got? I wanna mess up your cover. You're bleeding. I guess because I, I bit you. Why do I seem surprised that he's bleeding if I just bit him? Oh shit, you're bleeding. Why the fuck are you bleeding? Gross. <laughs> he's like, you bit me. Ah, this is my first time kissing a vampire. All right, let's get that straight. I bit him? I'm not a vampire. I'm kissing a vampire and I bite him. If I'm just a regular ass dude, why would I bite a vampire? Wouldn't he bite me and on the neck, not on the mouth? Also, how hard did I bite him that he's already got that much blood all over him? I must've really chomped down hard on him, just <laughs> Oh boy, and look how he goes back in for that Second kiss, just like, oh yeah, give me some of that. All right, hashtag POV, we're dancing at a party and your ex walks in. Uh-oh. Well, judging by kind of like the macho persona that this dude puts on, I'm guessing he's gonna like do something to protect me from my ex. Maybe he's my serial killer ex. So let's see what old Gover Bo does to protect me or hide me from my ex. All my ladies who got a brother that doesn't treat them right. Put your finger right in his face and tell that man bye-bye. If this is from our point of view and we're his girlfriend, then who is he kissing? He kisses someone to the left of the screen and then looks at us like they're two different people. Is he kissing our ex? And then he looks right at the camera, right at us and says, can we help you? What the fuck, dude? I'm dating you and my ex walks into the party and I'm like, oh no, it's my ex and you kiss him and then look at me and say, can we help you? Not cool. Serial killer, babe, my ex is here. Don't worry, sweetheart, I got this. Thanks. Hey, fuck face. Oh, what's up? Uh, babe? Hello? I'm right here. Hey, can you shut up? I'm trying to smooch your ass. Yeah, seriously, you think we give a shit about you? Get out of here, I'm trying to get some serial killer action. Yeah, go home. <laughs> Oh my god, you're the you're the worst serial killer boyfriend ever. That's not what your serial killer ex thinks. He's right. That's it. That's it. We're serial killer done. Oh please, you think you're gonna serial killer break up with me? Well you can't, because I'm serial killer breaking up with you. <laughs> Wait until my vampire dad hears about this. You're right. Ah! All right, well, honestly, that is enough of that. This dude's TikToks creep me out. The moral of the story is please stop romanticizing abusive relationships, kidnapping, serial killers, 
And fuck it, vampires. Stop romanticizing those two. They're blood-sucking monsters. They're not hot. But with that being said, now it's time to talk about our sponsor, ExpressVPN. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. You guys know how much I love ExpressVPN. I use it pretty much every day. I've got ExpressVPN on my laptop, on my desktop computer, on my phone. And it's not just for one reason either. I use ExpressVPN for a lot of different things. What ExpressVPN does is basically it encrypts all your data to make it so that like hackers or your internet service provider or online advertisers can't snoop on your data and see what you're up to. So they can, for example, target you with really specific ads. So I use that a lot on my phone and my laptop when I'm out and about. If I go to a coffee shop or like a patio somewhere to get work done and I'm on a public Wi-Fi, I definitely use ExpressVPN for stuff like that. But I'll also use it if I'm watching YouTube and I come across a video that's blocked in the US. There have actually been occasions where one of my videos will get blocked in certain countries. And so people in those countries can actually use ExpressVPN, switch their server location to a country where the video is not blocked, and then they can watch the video. It is pretty handy if you ask me. So that's the power of VPNs, but let me tell you why why ExpressVPN is the best VPN. It, it even rhymes. Express is the best. ExpressVPN has the fastest speeds. I've seen this time and time again. I've even speed tested it on my own computer. They've got 24 seven customer support. So if you need anything, they're there for you. And if you're still on the fence, ExpressVPN has been consistently rated the number one VPN by sources like TechRadar, The Verge, CNET, Comparatech, and more. So if you wanna check out ExpressVPN and find out how you can get three months for free, then click the link in the description below. That's expressvpn.com slash Danny Gonzalez. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash Danny Gonzalez. Click that link. Find out how you can get three months for free. Thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video and thank you to you guys for checking out ExpressVPN. Again, this is something that I use every day. It's a great product, great service, great people. Great me. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here and you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and turn on my notifications to join Greg. Greg is the fastest growing army on the internet. Please don't look that up, but it is true. It's just, if you look that up, it's seven years of bad luck. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. It's just that you, you know, don't look it up or you will have bad fortune for the next seven years. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I keep that motherfucking thing on me. And by thing, I mean gas. Trust, you don't wanna make me mad cause I got him on speed dial. And he's rich as all heck. And he's strong, he'll be coming for your neck. Yeah, my dad is straight evil. He's a mafia boss. And he's cutting me checks, now I'm lost in the sauce. Give me an arbitrary job cause I have no skills. Nepotism got me making them bills. First grade, I had a bully, he was straight dissing. Asked the principal for help, but he wouldn't listen. Told my dad, next day they were both missing. Like shape of water, they were sleeping with fishes. And did I mention he's a vampire? My dad can't die. Paler than a motherfucking overcast. Guy. Only coming out at night, killing folks with one bite Think he sucks, well you goddamn right Me and dad at the ballpark, hit him balls with a bat If you bully me, you're gonna brawl with a bat Who needs a sugar daddy when you got a sugar dad? Unlimited allowance, no cap Dad been alive for 400 years Vampire shit, he don't show up in the mirrors Rich man shit, he don't show up for his kids How we live forever but ain't got time for his kids But it's cool, I get that money from the top, bitch Call that trickle down economics You don't wanna mess with me, I promise The money never stops, but it's got a lot of commas If I have a bad dream, then I'm hopping in his coffin Dad's richer than Jeff Bezos It ain't fall, but he's raking up pesos Putting all my haters underneath gravestones I'm like a baby mouse, cause he feed me queso Little bread like panko You will never have a rich dad You will always have a tiny baby bitch dad You could have money in the bank, but your dad can't